Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 5th, June 5th. We're just going to see what comes up. You know that the timing is fluid, so, you know, usually these, sometimes they don't resonate, sometimes they do. This, These daily vibes are for somebody. They're not sign specific, and I'm mentioning this because I, I get comments, who's this for? It's, it may or may not be for you. We'll see what comes up. And the timing is fluid. So something that I posted a couple days ago, you know, could be for you. Typically, I mean, sometimes these happen on the day that they're supposed to, but sometimes they've already happened, and sometimes they happen a week later. It is what it is. Sometimes it's two weeks later. This is, you know, an energy that I'm picking up on for somebody uh, whenever. <laughs> Woo! The moon. This is Pisces or Cancer. Um, there's something hidden. There's outside forces. There's something below the surface that you don't see. Something is not as it seems. Oh, Four of Wands reversed. Interesting. Now, the Four of Wands is an upcoming celebration. Or there's a relationship that may be becoming more committed. Okay, that's what this is. So there's some somebody's relationship could be, you know, stepping it up a notch. Even with it in reversed. Let me just turn this phone off, otherwise we're going to have a problem. Three of Wands reversed. Hey, oh, the waiting may be over. Somebody may have been waiting for something, and the waiting may be over. Hmm. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. This is this is a big, big offer she's got in her hands. Okay, it's a stable, solid offer. She's got the Ace of Pentacles in her hands. saw something solid so uh -huh. this is a very grounded devoted nurturing individual who has something solid to offer I mean she has something solid in her hands this is something you can touch right it is hmm. Ooh, Ten of Swords, look at that. We got somebody who's really stressed out here. Seriously. Excruciating pain, mental pain, mental conflict, seriously. We got somebody that is really suffering. Woo, wow. Yikes. Oh! The King of Coins. Right underneath this moon card. It's like this guy is just sitting back. He's, he's sitting back and he's watching. He is watching. This guy is very wise. He's very patient. He's very grounded. And hmm, something is not as it seems. Huh. Interesting. Oh, this one didn't pick up. We're going to have to take it. Mm, four of coins. This is about opening up. Letting go of fear and opening up. 
Now, this is a commitment, stepping it up a notch. Somebody is about to let go and open up. They've been resisting, maybe resisting a commitment. And maybe what's the, that's what this is all about. You know, she has something solid to offer in her hands, and she does want commitment. So, looks like we got somebody here that is thinking about it, you know, definitely, definitely thinking about it. Um, this is a very slow-moving individual, doesn't like to rush into anything. The Hierophant. Interesting. Commitment. This is the card of commitment. And this is a this is about commitment. This is about commitment. I knew it was. We just talked. I just said it like, what, a minute ago? This is all about commitment. She has a lot to offer. It's a golden opportunity. Commitment is needed. Somebody may not have been prepared for a commitment. And now it's time to decide. This, this time is judgment day. It is judgment day. This is awakening. This is an awakening. This is an epiphany. This is a wake-up call. This is a wake-up call. That's what judgment is, a wake-up call. This is a truth or a secret that has been is about to be revealed. Something has been hidden. There's been some sort of secret. There has. This guy probably knows it. He's very grounded. He's been watching. He has. I can see that he has. This is the truth. This is the truth. This is also a card of forgiveness. It's a card of absolution. It's a card of release and, and it's a card of renewal. So it's like the truth will set you free. Seriously. The truth will set you free. But this is a card of Probably speaking the truth. This could be a reconciliation as well. There could be a reconciliation, a resurrection of something. Ooh, somebody hasn't been speaking the truth. There's been miscommunication or lack of communication or no communication or dishonest communication. And this guy, maybe this guy is the one that hasn't been communicating. He's the one that's struggling. Maybe he's struggling to speak his truth. Maybe he's struggling to communicate. He's struggling to, you know, wake up. Because this is a wake-up call. But it's reversed. So we have this person here that is probably, well, I think we got somebody here that is contemplating a commitment. He probably knows there's something going on behind the scenes or he thinks that or he's suspicious because these earth signs are very suspicious. By the way, you know what this is. This is a perfect match right here. It really is. I mean, this is an absolutely perfect match. Somebody better you have been resisting the commitment, like I already said, but... Commitment is on the table here. It's it's either, you know, this is a card in reverse of wasting time. Uh, who wants to waste time on somebody who doesn't want to commit? Not the Queen of Pentacles. She's got value in her hands. She knows her value. She's a hard worker. She's whatever. Anyway, 
this is a card of something, some sort of truth being coming out, okay? Some sort of truth, some sort of, I think there's going to be some communication. I do. It's going to be surrounding a commitment. I don't know who's going to be speaking the truth because it's connected to both these people. Could be dealing with a Taurus. I mean, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. So we have there's somebody who is really struggling to communicate. They've probably reached the end of a situation. Okay, this is a ten. It's a completion. It's an end. It's a, it's. You can only go up from here, but you have to stand up. And you have to speak up. Now, she may be offering a chance because this is an offering and this is a chance. So maybe she's given somebody a chance already. Maybe she feels like she's wasting her time. What else do we got here? A secret is about to be revealed, or a truth is about to be revealed, or something like that. Somebody's going to get some sort of, sort of wake-up call. This is a wake-up call that, whatever it is, some sort of awakening. Ooh, Six of Cups and the Star card. You know, I don't know if this is like a past life connection or what. There could be a past life connection here with the Judgment and the Six of Cups and the Star card. Now, this is a card of protection. It's a card of hope. It's also a card of renewal. I wonder if there's like a reconciliation here. Because this is a reconciliation. These, all three of these, I mean, this could there could be a reconciliation here. Some, we could have somebody here that has really reached a point where they can't take it anymore. They can't take it anymore. This is, this is something, this is very, this is tough. It's really tough. It hurts. It does, it hurts. So we got somebody here that is really struggling to communicate. They're struggling to open up. But there's a strong, deep connection here. There is. It's like it's divinely guided. It is. It's the, the star and the hair are fun. This is divinely guided. This guy's intuition is talking to him. Somebody, we have somebody here whose intuition is really speaking to them, and it's like it's telling them probably that you need it's time to open up, you know, to step forward in faith, to have faith, to believe. Now this is this is uh, memories of love. There's nostalgia, feelings of love. This is a card of wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. This is a card of healing as well. So there, there, there could be, it's almost like somebody's prayers. I mean, this is seriously prayers. This is a confession as well. And this is, so I was wondering if somebody is, there's, there could be some sort of confession. Nine of Swords, somebody, Nine of Swords, reverse, somebody's been giving deep, deep, deep thought to a relationship. And their gut is absolutely talking to them. Absolutely. And it's like they don't want to, they don't want to do this anymore. I think we got somebody here that is, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to live like this. I don't want to be in this pain anymore. This is, this is too much. It's overwhelming. Somebody is really struggling seriously ooh the high priestess reversed somebody's definitely been keeping secrets there's no doubt about it somebody has absolutely been keeping secrets no, well even if it just if if they weren't keeping secrets they were keeping to themselves okay we got somebody here that hasn't been you know revealing it all but whatever they've been hiding, I think, is about to, you know, be spoken. I don't think it can be hidden much longer. I really don't. 
Um, the high priestess reverse this is a loss of self. This is a repression. This is also hidden agendas. So somebody may have had some hidden agendas or somebody may have been suspicious of hidden agendas because this is a, she's very suspicious. The queen of pentacles is very suspicious. So she may be, she may have been suspicious and the high priestess is reverse is somebody who thinks they know, but they don't know. <laughs> so there could be so definitely some miscommunication here based on suspicions that are causing a relationship or a situation to suffer, put it that way. Somebody may think something is going on when something really is not going on. That's what I'm trying to say. Or it may be going on. I don't know. I mean, that's, that's the Queen of Pentacles right there, suspicion. It may be, but I don't know. <laughs> you know? That's who she is. Anyway, this is an opportunity for, for uh, wish fulfillment. The star is renewal, and this is reconciliation, and this could be reconciliation. So I'm wondering if there's a race reconciliation here between soulmates. I mean, the king and queen of pentacles are soulmates. There's a, there's a really deep connection here. And this is, an op this is like a commit getting in a commitment, and this one is too. So I'm wondering if there's an opportunity for... It looks like there's an opportunity. Like the waiting is over. It's like this game is over. The waiting game is over. There's no more waiting about it. There isn't. Because the commitment is where it's at. So, um, somebody's wish may be granted. This is a wish being granted. And this one is too. It's like, yeah. So, I don't know. Somebody's wish is about to be granted. Strength. Somebody's about to face their fears by the looks of things. It's, seriously. Somebody's about to face their fears. It's like, there's this hope here. Maybe there's this just renewed hope. Renewed hope that... We can heal this situation. This is healing. This is healing. Nine of Cups on the bottom. This is wish fulfillment again. So I really feel like somebody's. It's like there's. This is a. This is a dream come true. It really is. There's a. I think there's like a past life connection here. Even I do. I do. I think there there is. Um, with somebody that you have known before or somebody that you have a deep, 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 deep bond with. Um, I think we have somebody here that is struggling to communicate their truth because of fear of commitment. But it looks like they're going to find their courage because this is courage and strength and willpower to step forward, to open up. And this is ready to open up. And this is somebody's about ready to open up. And I think they're going to open up because this offer is so, I mean, that is the Ace of Pentacles. This is, this is potential. This is potential for abundance. This is a potential for stability. This is potential for security, something long-term, something you can take to the bank. But you get, you think about this. She is about commitment. She's, she is, she's, she's an earth sign. She wants something solid. She wants something stable. She, that's the way it goes. You don't have anything solid to offer me. You know, she's she's very practical. Very practical. Maybe she's given deep thought to the relationship. And this is this the nine of swords reverses this person and this doesn't have good intentions and this doesn't have good intentions. So she's probably thinking somebody doesn't have good intentions. That's her suspicion. I got this big offer and this person doesn't have good intentions. They're wasting my time by not communicating the truth, by not communicating at all, by being closed off, whatever. But we have a commitment that is about to step it up. A commitment is on the table and I think it's because somebody is finding the strength and the courage and the confidence to open up and go after wish fulfillment. 
they feel the connection. They feel the familiarity. And that's the way it goes. So, that's what I got. Somebody is about to open up their bentel and speak their truth. The judgment is truth. That's the truth coming out. So I feel like somebody's going to find their courage to speak the truth, whatever it is. We're going to get one of these. Somebody's about to open up. Let's get one of these for the fifth. Softly, softly, the tender touch. It's funny because on my Facebook page today, I was going to post something earlier today, but I stopped myself from doing it. And I was just going to write tender, loving care. Something about tender, loving care. I was going to write something about tender touch, about, about tender, loving care. Ten touch is needed. Touch. I should have just wrote it about touch being needed. And that's what this is. It's what's needed. Everybody wants to be touched and loved and kissed and caressed. Sof softly, softly, the tender touch. And that this is a 20 and this is a 20. So I think that, that that's, what the, that's, what this, that's what this is about. And see the tears? There's tears here because that's what's missing. Who, want, who, want, who wants that? So, anyway. The feminine wisdom of gentleness can assist you now. And this is, card is about gentleness as well. When we are at a point in life where we want to attain greater things but don't necessarily have the, proportion, the proportionally greater supply of energy at our disposal, it is time to work smarter rather than harder. This is the way of feminine wisdom. However, a cultural ignorance of the feminine way currently prevails. We are generally taught that the force, that the more force we use, the more we try to make things happen, the more we will achieve. The feminine way is not about force, nor is it about driving, striving, pushing, or grabbing at what we can in order to create. It's about inviting what we wish for to come into the space we have provided for it internally and in our lives. This method cultivates more energy, causes less stress, and attracts what is desired. It is manifestation by invitation rather than by will or force. There is an old story that the sun and the wind were debating about who is more powerful. We've heard this story before. After boasting about their prowess, they made a wager. A man walked down the street with a coat on. The wind and the sun decided that whomever could force the coat off the man was the most powerful. The wind began demonstrating its impressive power. It blew and blew and caught underneath the coat, pulling it and nearly ripping it right off the man. But the man wrapped his coat around himself more tightly to protect himself against the force of the wind. Eventually, perhaps temporarily out of puff, the wind gave up. The sun took over. He shone down, become brighter and brighter, until the man slipped off his coat, slung it over his shoulder and walked down the street, quite possibly wondering what was happening with the weather that day. The wind attempted to do by force what the sun was able to do by being. You are being asked to surrender your forcefulness, your determination, and your intense activity, even if it is just for this moment. Does this mean that you have to surrender the goals you were chase, chasing through your end, those endeavors? No, this is not about letting go of achievement. It is about understanding the process of manifestation. And it's funny that I mentioned it right here. Somebody has manifested something. But anyway. 
This is not about letting go of achievement. It is about understanding the process of manifestation in a more intelligent way. There is a way of creating that gives you energy and doesn't leave you utterly worn out. It is about allowing what you want to come to you. Be yourself absolutely, naturally, and with ease. Shine your light and allow your presence to invite that which we, what, which you wish to receive. And remember I said a wish is being granted. Somebody has surrendered and their wish is being granted. But anyway, it is about cultivating an energetic affinity with what you seek rather than feelings of lack and need. Do you see the subtle but important difference? To feel that you are already a naturally abundant being who gratefully invites more of what you want into your life is rather different to feeling lack, fear, and wishing your world would change. It is a bit like dressing for a job you want, even if it is not the job you have. You energetically embody what you wish to attract more of into your life. Like attracts like. This oracle brings you a message. You don't need to push quite so hard to receive what is naturally coming to you. Your push comes from a place of uncertainty over whether or not you will succeed. You need to relax and have more faith. And this is relax and have faith. This is relaxed and this is have faith. You need to relax and have more faith in yourself. All things come in time, rightfully and according to a great loving wisdom. You are not immune to this. You, ha you shall have your time and shine too. Rebel against the voice of fear within you or around you that tells you otherwise. This oracle also comes with a special message that you have been working very, very hard. You have learned much and have accomplished much, but it is now time to change your approach. Everything serves a purpose, and learning the benefits of and limitations of the more forceful way of manifestation through effort and willpower was a useful lesson. However, if you were to continue with that approach, it would stop working for you because you are now beginning to create on a far grander scale that is beyond what an individual can manifest through willpower alone. You are an individual creating through your healing and art, but also contributing globally to new consciousness through your own spiritual growth. You are part of a global healing manifestation process. You are, through your way of being in the world, helping to birth a new awareness. <laughs> Somebody's manifested something by surrendering, by allowing. Seriously. I think they've manifested a soulmate connection, but if, if you really listen to what I just read, it was about surrendering to the plan, by having faith, letting the universe decide, per se. So anyway, you know, I really feel as though somebody's wish has been granted, somebody's manifestation wish has been granted, and there's a commitment that is coming into focus. This is like, a, I think there's some sort of confession, some sort of truth that is being revealed. Or accepted. Because this is a card of acceptance. Somebody may have been in denial. Somebody may have been struggling and in denial of the truth, holding on to something that they were trying to manifest that wasn't meant to be. You can't put a name on your manifestations now. That's what I was just read to you.
so I think that some something that has been hidden below the surface is about to be revealed and it's going to leave so something my camera ended something that was below the surface is about to be revealed and it is going to lead somebody towards the commitment that they are meant to be in but as you notice the camera just died something ends before that that's a message everything is there's no such thing as coincidence something ends to bring you into the commitment that you are meant to be in or something has ended there was a reason there was a purpose and now there's an opportunity to build something solid something stable a new commitment that comes after this awakening this release this surrender this acceptance so anyway I feel like today is a day of well this there could you know I'm not sure if there's communication there may be there could be communication but this there is there could be confession of some sort so yes there could be some sort of there could be some sort of communication that comes through that's what I got good luck